Hey guys, I wanted to share a few things with you about conditioning today. A lot of folks have very limited time and they often can't squeeze their conditioning in despite how little time it actually takes to condition your body. Um, I have some chishi at my dojo. These are nothing more than um, blocks of concrete with sticks in them. This is a one gallon Poland spring container. Okay, with a long stick. And on the back, I have a teeny bit of uh, pipe insulation. Okay. And this other one is just a much smaller, more manageable, same thing. It's wrapped in tape just so the concrete doesn't crack. And on this side, I have a little pad depending on what I'm working. So I wanna show you some of the routines I do and how quickly they can actually be done. Okay, so I first start with the thighs and I spend about 30 seconds. Swaying and hitting the, the oncoming attack is really important, guys. Think of this being a leg and your body striking at it, trying to injure that leg, okay? Keeps your body strong, definitely a much safer way to practice. Get a little of the back and the hamstrings. Awesome, now I'm gonna go down to the lower leg I'm gonna turn and use the pad on the front part of the shin so you get a lot of the weight, okay? But not that sharp bite from the concrete. When you condition, you need both mass, okay? And a hard object. If it's just hard, like a stick and you tap, this is beneficial, but you don't get any flexing of the bone, which is what you'll get when you strike an object hard with a kick, for example, or when you actually receive a technique. Let's go to the other leg. This is all in the tibialis and then on the front of the shin. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down and grab the larger one. I like this long stick because I can keep my body more upright. I'm gonna strike on the back here. The other side. Good, now I'm up to the stomach. I use this again and basically you could take this and just pull it into your body. Okay, this is nice because you're pulling as you're striking. Another thing you can do is use the swinging action. Visualizing is really important. When I strike my body, I'm thinking, can you break the concrete? Can you break the concrete? That's what I'm imagining. I'm imagining my body's harder than this object. Excellent. Now I'm gonna to go to the arms. So tops of the legs, bottoms of the legs, center in the arms. So with this, I'm gonna strike the side using radius. And the opposite. This is, again, nothing more than a block of concrete with a stick in it. If you didn't have it, focus on the bottom one third of your own forearm, strike with the opposite. Very hard, very dense. Opposite. And then you can do twin locks, which is using the ulna and the radius together. If it's too sharp, focus on the bottom part of the arm 
and then let the opposite travel up and down that. Okay, these are some of the routines I do for my arms, center, and legs. And I can do this all in probably 90 seconds. So I highly encourage you guys to make your own chi or some sort of training tool and keep it handy where you spend a lot of your time, whether it's near your desk, whether it's at the dojo, or whether it's in your living room.